name is uh, Yoli O. I am a 15th generation uh, Wudang Taoist uh, teacher of uh, Chinese medicine, of uh, Tai Chi Kung Fu, and you know, practices.
Jangan luar sekali
right. I am uh, preparing uh, for uh, a new workshop cycle that I'm going to add to my Patreon account. Uh, I'm going to give uh, one time per month for members of uh, nine dollars and higher a workshop. It's about nine euros also. A workshop of uh, one to two hours every time. Teach you about uh, Chong Wu Chikung. Chong Wu Chikung is uh, my specialty, you can say. It's, Chong Wu Chikung is my favorite uh, form of Chikung, and I learned it from Master Liu um, at the beginning of my career. I want to invite you to become a member of my channel. And you can support the channel, of course, uh, for general production for a very low price every month. And you can get uh, free uh, posts all the time, and you get all kinds of videos where you can learn from and you can uh, just uh, look at for entertainment uh, but I also give different kind of classes and besides the weekly classes I have a special new kind of class lined up and I would like you to become a member of that class I'm going to give that every third, third Tuesday from the month uh, at the Dutch time 8 o'clock and there's going to be a list here on the side uh, with the times for the different areas of the world like the United States or Australia uh, where you can see what is the time uh, in your area so that you can be in time all the time for the classes. The Qigong that I'm going to teach is called uh, Chongwu Qigong. I learned this Chongwu Qigong from Master Liu years ago when I was uh, still very young and I was practicing and I was also studying with another master, uh, Master Shun, uh, in uh, the European area and I was visiting different kind of masters from Japan and China and uh, uh, also European teachers. When I uh, went to study this kind of Qigong, uh, my teacher Liu, he explained he was from a Wudang area. I took an initiation with him and uh, I trained with him for a long time. At the moment uh, when he was teaching, he explained to me this Chongwu Qigong is basically an essential uh, third level practice. And a third level practice uh, shows the different effectiveness, no, the diff a third level practice shows on which level uh, you're actually practicing and for what purpose. Like when you are very sick, you practice on a first level practice. And almost all practices that you see on the commercial market are first level practices. Uh, these practices, they are very easy to follow usually. They don't demand much of you. And I myself, I teach this also in my weekly classes as a bamboo formula chiku. And at the moment, when you do the second classes, this is also where the bamboo formula chiku uh, class belong to. And then you are practicing something that is uh, good for your health in general that you can build up on but on the third level you actually prepare yourself for the higher levels and we call this a uh, library form and a library form means that there's a lot of different kind of practices collected together and although it looks on the outside like a form in fact it's a collection of practices that each have their own purpose and together they have a joint purpose at the same time and the first thing that we start practicing is the Jing, the Qi and the Shun of course and we will go very deep into these kind of concepts and we will go show how it relates to other Taoist practices and skills but we also discuss how it relates to Chinese medicine because I personally I use it in the people who study with me for Chinese medicine uh, to learn what the basic concept of Chinese medicine uh, actually mean and this is very important because to make Chinese medicine into a science you have to understand what things mean and you have to know in what context you have to use it so this is what we basically do in this kind of uh, classes. We're going to go very deep into these kind of classes and in the corner of this uh, thing, left and right, I will show some small videos where you can see a little bit of the practice and what it's actually about and what it's actually like. It is a wide stance practice. So all the exercises are done in wide stance and they're not done in the same way like in Shaolin, but they're done in the way how Taoists uh, do it and that is much more based on using the nature of your body and not fighting with your body to have the mind control it like a Shaolin practice. It is also not a military practice, so it's not about doing hard work, no. It's just about being disciplined to help yourself integrate with your body and the nature of your body so that you can develop the best qualities of your body that is possible and the right kind of quiet mind that is required to have a good observation and to have a good co uh, uh, communication with the world around you and to live a conflict-free life in which you can of course also achieve your goals whatever goals they are I hope you will join the class it is only nine dollar per per month and at the moment when you join this for this nine dollar per month 
uh, you get a lot more than just these classes. You get also all the different kind of posts uh, below and at the same level, and you have access to special offers that I'm going to organize for the coming uh, time. Uh, I want you to join the Dowland program, of course, because I'm building on the healthcare program for everybody that people can take home to their family and that they can work at with their family to make sure that everybody in their family is healthy and that they have a good relationship with nature. The applications of this workshop, these classes every third Tuesday of the month is also in food and it is in feng shui, it is in astrology, it is in Chinese medicine, it is in kung fu, it is in nedan and so forth and so forth. Actually, it is what is also called a cosmological practice. It shows you basically the whole field of the, sci the sciences that are the foundation of Chinese medicine and Chinese culture as a whole. And not in the way how it is being proposed by modern Chinese culture. This is uh, not necessarily what is wanted in uh, practices like this. We have to become very concrete and we have to be very precise in the way how we express things to be able to understand them, especially because our Western languages are not the same like the Chinese languages. So as a result of that, it is more important for us to understand what it means and we can't be too diffuse not too abstruse in our languages. We have to be very concrete and precise. So in the classes, we're going to do a lot of practices and we're going to do a lot of discussions. We're going to do piling exercises, you know, like this or like this, yes. And a lot of other practices. Uh, we're going to do Tao Yin, we're going to do meditations, we're going to do uh, conversations and so forth and so forth. So if you like my message here, please sign up. Uh, you will find the information down here and at the end of the video, which is very close now, and then, then uh, you uh, are welcome. That's basically it. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Yoli O. I'm a 15th generation uh, Udang Taoist and uh, I look forward to see you soon. <coughs> when I was uh, studying with uh, Master Liu, he taught me a lot of different kind of things. And in the process of learning, I made a lot of notes and uh, I'm still working these notes out because he told me so many things that I still have to verify to a degree and I have a large library to study whatever uh, he said uh, to, be, to see how other people think about the same things. And I found some things which are right and some things which are wrong. Uh, according to this person or that person or that person. So I also had to create my own understanding of these kind of things to a degree. And this is exactly what he wanted. One of the things I had an opportunity for is in my own language, the Dutch language, is to produce a book. And this book is the first Dutch language book about Qigong. Nobody else wrote a book before that on this topic. And uh, I, am, uh, I was in the a fortunate uh, situation to write this book and this book is used by many people in many different kind of uh, courses as an introduction to Qigong still to this day. Uh, what is very important though is the way how I wrote it, although some essential aspects of the teaching that I do in the here is uh, still correct, the language I have changed a lot because the language that I use is based on Western esoterics and nowadays when I teach I use Taoist esoterics. And it's very different. There's no concept of energy, there's no concept of essence, there's no concept of spirit, uh, and so forth and so forth. These concepts do not exist in Chinese culture, cultural language from before the 20th century. So I try to uh, convey to you very important differences between Chinese culture and Western culture to make you understand better what it is all about. <coughs>